Good morning. This is Pigsy. And um, just an update on the spy thing, really. I was having a little think about it, and maybe a intuition or whatever was kicking in as well. And um, and I was also thinking about some of the tactics that go on with the, the cabal. Um, it's likely whoever done it was paid to do it by somebody else and given given the agent to release. They're likely at risk themselves of it. How do you deliver an agent that's so toxic and kill a police officer getting anywhere near it? But yet, whoever, whoever had it seems to have walked away from the situation without any issues. Unless it was fired from something. There's a lot of information that's not been provided. And um, you'd hardly be slumped at a bench if someone fired like a gas grenade or something, can't you? I mean, how could you get both people and knock them out and, and put them on the bench like that? So there's a lot of um, a lot of unanswered questions there, and then also how many actual witnesses were there? Seems to be only one one woman I've seen on TV claiming what she saw that they were just slumped on the bench, uh, which doesn't really provide any information. And is it in a quite a, an area that's easily seen where people are around? How, did, how come not more people were um, was actually see the incident? I may pop up a map actually, have a little map of look at the area, and then look at things like lines of sight. Where would somebody see such and such from? Is that an idea? So, um, so yeah, so if I go to the map and have a look at the different angles, I can at least get an idea of what shops are in the area, who oversees it, where there are flats and so on. How does somebody get away with not hurting somebody or doing something about making any noise, you know? Did they sh sh cry out and like, oh no, no, or you know, whatever. At least do something, even if they're shouting in Russian. It still would get some attention, I'm sure. strange. So I'll do a bit more of an investigation on it. Maybe I'll do a bit of uh, I'll meditate on it and stuff like that. Uh, but I think what's happened is the person's been paid who have done a job. Now they've expelled, they started expelling the um, political uh, Russian diplomats. It's going to act as a smokescreen for the other person to disappear. And uh, because basically he may actually have some of the uh, nerve agent will be on his luggage, on his clothes. You know, if it's this powerful, just being near it, I'm sure he would have picked something up. And if something like, say, uh, if you could train a dog to, to detect it. then um, you could hunt the person down quite easily because it must And also, where, must sting, and also where was the stuff made? They haven't really, you know, maybe it must be a way to track that down. Because if the area is still toxic, then I'd imagine wherever the chemicals were made to produce it would still be fairly toxic itself. Whether it's a base or somewhere, an old garage, you know, who knows? Did they ship it in via Amazon? <laughs> Maybe look up the nerve agents ingredients, see if we can find them off the internet. Then I'd probably get um, police knocking on my door. However, it, it would be as, as in a research. How easy is it to obtain these chemicals? Could I buy them off the internet? If you can't buy them off the internet, it just shows you how restricted they are anyway. And so, therefore, um, making it um, in the country may be maybe impossible or maybe it is possible and therefore you wouldn't be shipping anything in from Russia it's just somebody with enough from technical knowledge um, in chemistry who can make, uh, make the nerve agent but there may be stuff you can't buy uh, locally 
It's a bit like I got some stuff from an army surplus sent from Russia. Big issue. Um, uh, so yeah, and it also propagates this thing about war. It helps the situation with the elite and um, they have a problem dealing with the Brexit because they don't want it to happen. And so you need to create a situation whereby it be overruled. Know, in the interests of peace, etc., and the diplomatic harmony. Therefore, the Brexit can't take place uh, because we're at war with these countries, and we're in we're in a lock. We're sort of um, locked between what the commitments we've done made with other countries. So they just make up stuff basically, and um, it'd be quite a difficult one to deal with. So I think that's what they're heading for, that's the delay in the Brexit, it's just to create a situation to change things. And why, um, so yeah, definitely odd stuff, other, other news, doo -doo -doo. Um, there's Nibiru, there's always talk about some planet X, something else, out there, and I come across something that talked about, um, like, some little, kind of, like, kind of like droughts, places like Venice where the water levels just dropped, and so, where's the water gone, that's the question, has it gone underground? Is it being lifted somewhere else and pulled by some sort of magnetic force or um, some sort of gravity, gravity, gravitational forces? I doubt that. But that's fascinating the way the water's gone, the level's gone down. And there's concern of what might be in the Arctic, so it's all really interesting. Anyway, that was a quick vid for me, so um, speak to you signing off and speak to you soon.